Many of us invest our money once a year, last minute, for a tax saving piece when our office demands that. We don't understand it, we just do what our colleagues or people around us suggest. Other than that, we map if our salary is in and then we resolve to do better when our salary comes. But because the to-dos are not clear for us, we just go back to the same old way of operating with money. Spending it, chilling and leaving it for later to manage. You will notice that financially successful women have a different way of operating. They follow a to-do list and don't leave things for later or until the end to manage. Let me explain these to you in detail with my own daily functioning with money. I am Priyanka Bhatia from Women on Wealth. We help women take charge of their finances with financial education that they should have provided you in school or college, but didn't. I'm 36 as of today when I'm making this video and here is my to-do list. Number one, I absolutely believe that I am a wealthy person and that I have the money and the time for everything I want. Initially, it was just a belief. My finances, that is my financial net worth, was not a match to this way of thinking. But as I kept working on the to-do list that I'm about to share, my life altered. I now have the finances to buy almost everything, those little luxuries I want. Here is your cue. I am not talking about my income. I am talking about my wealth. Number two, I keep a clear note of my incomings and outgoings. I have 15 years worth of clarity on that day after day, month after month. And I also have a graphical representation to map where I am with regard to my incomings, outgoings and my investment income. I am conscious and most times excited to do work on my financial life. Number three. I have my financial worth calculated and I look at it on a daily basis. I keep changing the numbers as they change. My fund allocation is also in there and that gives me a clear view of my investments and diversification. Number four, I read about finance, investments, economy, markets, etc. on a daily basis. I read books, magazines and newspapers for at least 30 to 60 minutes every day. Not just that, I scribble my notes too. Number five, one thing that I don't do is I don't look at my investments every day. A lot of people believe in trading their stocks and other investments every day. I enjoy putting my finances on an autopilot and then just map my progress by sitting back. <laughs> Number six, I calculate my savings rate every month. I'm happy to report that my savings rate has been as high as 80 to 90 percent month on month for the last 16 years. You may have heard from me already, save aggressively and invest wisely if you want to create wealth. Which of these financial practices can you pick up and add as part of your to-do list? Start typing. Take charge.